Hello. Kelvin, good to see you. Uh, two years later, right? I mean, it's taken a while to get this fight together, but two years later, it's here. Does this feel big? I mean, I know that one probably felt a little bigger at the time, but does this feel like a big fight for you? 100% it's a big fight, but, uh, you know, this is what we signed up for, and I'm 100% ready. Yeah. Stepping in on four weeks' notice, right? I mean, how much thought went into that? Like, how did it come together? Did you guys lobby for it? Did they come to you? You had to think about it. How did it all come together? No, um, I got the call from my manager, Ali, and uh, there was no hesitation whatsoever. Let's do it, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I was just kind of continuing off the last camp, and I feel even better than, my, you know, than what I did in February. You know, I'm a much better version of that. Uh, I'm a much better version than I was two years ago, and uh, I'm excited. How much better is it to prepare for a, a, a camp, you know, coming off a win, right? You know, you've had to deal with those losses that I'm sure were frustrating. Is it just a, sure. a better vibe all around, I imagine? 100% better vibe, and I'm just ready and excited. You're talking about being a better fighter than you were two years ago. How much of your prep in these four weeks did you, did you kind of lean on what you had done before, right? Game planning and tactics and all that. Did, did a lot of that come into play? Yeah, to be honest, yeah. We went, we went back and looked at uh, a lot of uh, the, the film and – looked at all the strategies we had put up then and, and, and incorporated them now and, uh, you know, made them even better. I know you've been chasing after the title, but was this a fight, like once he lost the title, was this a fight that you were still interested in and think about, like, I got to have that guy at some point? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, he's young, so am I, and I think eventually we would have been matched up. We think a number one contender fight here. I know that sound, may sound crazy. You know, you had the losses, but you're right there. But there's a lot of guys that are right there, right? It's a really interesting time in the division. So are right. we thinking number one contender with this? I think so. I think the winner of this fight gets the easy rematch. Um, yeah. That simple. Do you think you have to do anything special to do it, or is it just I get the win and I'm, I'm the guy? I believe so. I get the win. I get my hand raised. And I get the, 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 the chance to fight for the title next. Last thing for me, I mean, this is a fight that we've been anticipating for a long time between two very talented guys. What type of, what type of fight do you think we see here? Super highly skilled. I mean, these are two guys that are, that are entering their prime. Uh, where, where he's highly skilled. I believe I have the skills to, to, to match it or, or even be even better. So uh, the, the fight fans are in for a nice, nice fight, you know. And that's why I've always liked this fight is just because I think the styles mesh up really well and it's going to be a really exciting fight. So, Kelvin, I took a look back at the video of the lead up to your first fight with Rob, and I remember the day you came backstage on the fight day with the belt and stuff. And I, I, re watching it, I could see how like, devastated you clearly were. Do you remember what that day was like when you found out that he'd pulled out and suddenly the title shot you'd been fighting for was gone? Do you remember how that hurt? I do, but I'm not focused on it. I'm focused on right now. I'm focused on, on winning this Saturday, and uh, I'm focused on how I feel right now. Is there any sort of, anim maybe animosity is not the right word, but is there any sort of weird feelings towards Rob for that, how that all played out? I believe when, uh, when it happened, I, I, I probably felt a little animosity towards him, but uh, I'm over it. Things happen. Uh, and, you know, I respect Rob, but, uh, you know, I'm, uh, we're going to go in there. We're going to take each other's heads off, like we said two years ago. Is this one of those ones where you're just so happy the fight's even happening because if you got to the end of your career and you never had a chance to match up with him, it would have been pretty shitty. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, 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 I, you know, like I said, I, this is a matchup that I've wanted for a long time, uh, not just because uh, he, ha he was the champion, but because I believe it was just a very exciting fight. Our, our, our styles are going to mesh really well. He's, you know, uh, he's a very heavy uh, boxing game. And so do I, and I think it's just going to be a, a, a really cool clash of styles. You said you, you've gotten better since that time you were meant to fight. Do you think he has as well, or do you think he's sort of plateaued? Yeah, no, he's gotten better and, and, and smarter, but so have I. I've matured more, and uh, I, I feel like all the stars are aligning for me right now, and I just feel really good. You talk about the stars aligning you. This, of course, is the... This, I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before, when you fought Israel in that amazing fight. You beat Rob. This kind of ties in with the anniversary of that. Do you think this is the perfect opportunity to grab the mic on Saturday night and say, look, the middleweight division is a little bit murky. It's me now. Yeah, this is an opportunity for me to get back to where I was, uh, which is at the top of the division. And uh, I want to be able to, to show that and confirm that to the rest of the world. What I already know is that I, I'm one of the best. Looking forward to it, man. Thanks.